So what we're going to do today is take a look at two tools that I use to search out and find long tail keywords for both my insurance agency blog and the content warfare blog that I know my competitors aren't targeting. The first thing we're going to go is a tool that many people have talked about, Google Keyword Tool. So if you Google the term Google Keyword Tool, the very first result is going to be a Google's own free tool for tracking keywords. Now, this is by no means a perfect platform for finding keywords, but it is free and it, you can get some good ideas from it. So one thing I want to show you, so I'm going to put in NY Home Insurance, a term uh, that many agents, many insurance agents in New York State would go after. I press search and up pops results. So one thing that I start to do when I look at these keywords is I don't spend any time looking at how many searches. That's not the that's not the first place that I look. The very first place that I look for keywords is the actual suggested results that come up. NY Home Insurance any agent that knows anything about content marketing is going to go after uh, this term. Uh, any internet marketers that have created um, you know, lead capture and sale uh, platforms are going to go after this word. So, so this is going to be a highly competitive term. What I'm looking for is terms that I don't think many other people go after. So one such term uh, when looking through these results that I find is this one right here and it is home space owners space insurance NY. Now what's unique about this term is that to my competitors, to other insurance agents who are trying to market their own blogs, in, in our technical terms in our industry, homeowners is one word. So home and owners is put together. That's one word. Homeowners insurance, the homeowners portion is one word. But what you see is consumers are actually splitting the word home, the word homeowners up into two words, home and the word owners. And by creating some content around the fact that you have a search result where the consumer is putting something different into Google, slightly different, but different than what most of your competitors are creating content around, there's a very good chance that you can then capture a significant portion of this 1,300 um, local monthly searches. So local is nationwide, but uh, being that there's the the NY, the, the New York State abbreviation indicator in there, you have to assume that uh, most of those 1,300 searches are, t are uh, consumers in New York State looking for homeowners insurance, not knowing that the word homeowners in, in insurance terms is actually one word. They're splitting it up, and what it does is prevent it. Uh, present an opportunity for an ambitious content marketer to create content in which uh, their competitors are not finding. So when you go to Google Keyword Tool, uh, do not just focus in on whatever term it is that you put in the box. I would say take some time and look through the list of keywords that are suggested. Uh, you, see, you, you see another one here, home, space, owners, insurance, quotes. Uh, that's another one uh, that might um, yield some results because, again, uh, most insurance agents are not going to put that term in. Another good example down here is home insurance company. Uh, in the insurance industry, so any agent who's, who's creating content is not going to use the word company because we don't refer to insurance companies. We refer to them as insurance carriers. So... Here, again, we're going to create content using the words of our consumers, and we're going to use tools such as uh, the Google Keyword Tool to find uh, variations of long tail keywords that we may not otherwise uh, have used because uh, it's our language. We want to create content in the language of our consumers. Another good tool is Uber suggest.org that's u b e r s u g g e s t.org ubersuggest.org 
and we're going to put that same NY home insurance in here and what Uber Suggest does, and, and this is especially an important tool for people who struggle to come up with content ideas, uh, what Uber Suggest does is allow us, uh, or it provides suggestions of variations to the keyword that we put in the box at the top. So uh, we come down, we get some generic suggestions, uh, NY State Home Insurance, NY Mobile Home Insurance, Brooklyn NY Home Insurance, and then... Um, it, you know, based on letters of the alphabet, it actually gives you a lot of different variations. So this is another place that you can come and find variations of long tail keywords. So here's one that I find very interesting. NY Homers, Homeowners Insurance Workers Compensation. So people are searching for this term, uh, and it's not something that an insurance agent would normally find. So when we're attacking keywords, especially long tail keywords, we want to go after terms that our competitors might not necessarily uh, be looking for. So things kind of outside the box a little bit, but by using tools, uh, free tools like ubersuggest.org and Google's own keyword tool, we can uh, kind of pick the diamonds in the rough out. We can find those hidden gems, those long tail keywords that are ultimately going to uh, yield us results for a long time because our competitors will never put in the time or effort to actually find out uh, what the consumers are actually searching for. So with that, I wish all of you the best of luck in creating a great content marketing strategy around hidden long tail keywords.